Hello, Sillaholics, and welcome to Sillaholics Anonymous. I am the professor, Shakia. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully it will not be your last. And you enjoyed the contents of this video and you will choose to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified when I release new content. If you are already a subscriber, thank you for the support. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the I Love Glitter font. It's one that's used a lot, especially like right now with the, um, you know, we're in April of 2021. So a lot of people are using this for the mom designs and preparing for Mother's Day and doing the different tiles and shirts and things like that. This is a really, really popular font. I do believe it is available on like, like free on the font. Not sure if it comes with the glyphs. I got mine um, from, I want to say, fontbundles.net or designbundles.net, a part of um, one of their either dollar deals or bundles, or it might be on Creative Fabrica, one of those places. Um, nowadays, that's where I get the majority of my fonts from, Creative Fabrica or designbundles or fontbundles.net. So you can definitely find it on one of those sites. This particular font, as you can see, has a lot of extra accents and little swirlies. Those are your glyphs. You will have to have access to a character map. I'm not sure what it's called in Mac because as you can see, I am a PC gal. So I'm not really sure how it comes off in Mac, but for PC, it's your character map. I'm gonna show you how to get to that. But if you have designer edition or above, you have a glyph guide or a glyph window right in Silhouette Studio, which allows you to see them just a little bit bigger. The first part of this tutorial that I'm gonna show you, you will be able to access the basic um, glyphs that are a part of just typing in uh, certain characters. You can access those no matter which program you're using. So if you are a Cricut user, you can use the basic ones as far as the glyphs. I do not believe that Cricut has a glyph guide. You would have to use the character map method. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my design page. I'm going to come up here. There we go. All right, we're gonna go to the A on the right-hand side, and I'm going to make this back default because I already know that it's, uh, I was recording this, it messed up. So let's go back to default, which I cannot find it. All right, let's just go Ariel. Okay, there we go. So now we're back at default. Um, so we're gonna come to the A on the left-hand side, click anywhere on the screen, you're gonna get the flashing blue light or blue line, and we're gonna type out Shakia. You would then click on it, come over here to the A on the right-hand side, and type in I love, and then there's I love glitter. We're gonna click on that, and our um, text is changed to that font. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in with color so that it's easier for you guys to see. Now, the basic glyphs that are included are two uh, characters. So there, well actually there's three of them that you can use. If you hold down shift and hit the asterisk or number, or number eight, that's gonna give you a little heart. So instead of giving you the little asterisk, it gives you a heart. If you go down three more um, keys to the slash or underscore, so after the zero, you hold down shift and click that, that's going to give you the heart that is open. If you hold down shift and hit your forward slash, that's gonna give you the heart that is solid. So those are your basic glyphs or basic accents that you can access no matter which program you're using, even if you don't have access to a glyph guide or character map, All right? So again, that is, hold down shift, that is eight underscore or forward slash. And that's going to give you, oops, there we go, those accents. Let's delete those. Now, if you want to really spice this up, there are a lot of extra swirlies to this, and there are some special characters for certain lowercase letters and 
uppercase ones. You're going to go to the search at the bottom of your screen and you're going to type in character and then character map will come up. You're going to type in I love, so there's I love glitter. And you're gonna see the ones that we kind of did um, just from inside the program. And we're going to scroll all the way down. You're gonna have to go past a lot of crazy looking stuff. Don't get discouraged. I promise you it's down there. Just move kind of slowly and eventually there they are. You will come um, up on the glyph. So let's kind of scroll down a little bit slower. So these are the extra lowercase ones. There are some additional swirlies and the uppercase, uh, let's see. So these are additional lowercase and we may have to scroll down a little bit more to get to the uppercase. So as you can see, this can be kind of tedious and aggravating trying to get to all of the glyphs. And okay, I can't find the uppercase. But if you scroll through it, you should be able to find it. So if you want to add any of these type glyphs, you would click on it. It's going to give you a really small preview and you're going to hit select. So let's click on this one and select. Let's click on this one and select. You're then going to copy the selection that is here. Come back over to Silhouette Studio, or if you're in Cricut Design Space or any program, you're going to come back to your text, right click and paste, and you're going to see those extra glyphs. So that's a way to do it if you have the free version or if you're working from a different program. All right, so we're going to delete those. Within Silhouette Studio, you have under your textile window the second icon is your glyphs. So we're already open on I Love Glitter. And you can come here and there are some additional little swirlies here. All right, we're going to come down and there are some additional characters here. All right, and then if we scroll down, we see some of the ones that we did from before. So you see all of these different characters. If you stay tuned, right after this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a very convenient glyph guide so that you don't have to go through this every single time that you want to use this font. And you're gonna be able to see all of them really easy and then copy and paste them. So be sure to stick around after this video. It will be at the end or you can always go and check out our playlist on fonts. So we're gonna scroll down and here are the uppercase. So if I were to uh, put my mouse up here, highlight the S, I'm gonna come to the glyph guide and choose the uppercase S and I've changed that to that special character. If I go to the A and select that, I'm gonna come back up here and find um, an A I want to use. So let's go up, 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 up. And here is the A. So I've changed the back side of that. So that's a way for you to use the character map to add all of the extra accents to the front, to the end of a string of text. Once you have them how you want it, you can either ungroup if you need to make any adjustments and move anything closer together. But because this is a script font, you're going to um, traditionally just go to right click and weld. But again, if you have to adjust anything, like let's say like these characters up here that are all bunched up, you would ungroup. So I'm gonna go weld. And you can see that that's just gonna weld all of that kind of together. If I undo, I want it to separate those. I can either double click and then use my space bar to separate them, but they may end up being too far out. So let's go back, go here and go space bar. So it's a little too spread out. 
I'm going to right click and ungroup. And then I'm gonna move this in ever so slightly. And if I wanted the other one, um, let's kind of just go here and pull this one in right there. So if I wanted this to be like this, let's move this out of the way and let's use, I'm gonna attach this one to up here. All right, let's go ahead and select all of this and choose weld. So you can go to the top and choose weld or right click and choose weld. And now this is all one piece. And then my name is also one piece. So that's a way for you to utilize the glyphs for the I Love Glitter font and be able to add all of the extra um, glyphs that come with it. Don't forget, right after this video is going to be a video on how to create an easy view glyph guide. So don't go anywhere. If you have time, stick around for that video also. But if this is the last video that you're going to watch for right now, if you have not hit the subscribe button, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you're notified when I whenever I release new content. If you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below to let me know if you enjoyed the video or other ways that I can help you or other questions that you may have. And in the description, you will find the link to our shop, shop.silaholicsanonymous.com, where you can find your honestly speaking line of products such as pigment ink, sublimation ink, sublimation paper, templates, classes, and so much more. All right, guys, until next time, have a great one. Peace.